Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for LifeScript.com. Is 50 really the new 30? A new campaign from the American Lung Association is urging adults 50 and older to know their pneumococcal pneumonia risk. Today we have with us Madam Secretary Star Tim Daly and Dr. Norman Edelman, Senior Scientific Advisor to the American Lung Association. They're going to tell us about the pneumococcal pneumonia risks and the misconceptions surrounding the infectious disease. Hi, Tim. Hi, Dr. Edelman. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. My for pleasure. Me. My pleasure. So, Dr. Edelman, let's get down to basics. What is pneumococcal pneumonia? Well, pneumococcal pneumonia is a serious lung infection. Pneumonia uh, is uh, an infection of the lung. It comes in various forms. About half of pneumonias are viral. The other half are bacterial. And pneumococcal pneumonia is the most important most prevalent bacterial pneumonia. It's a very serious infection. About a quarter of a million Americans over age 50 are hospitalized each year because of pneumococcal pneumonia. Tim, your mom was hospitalized with pneumococcal pneumonia in 1991, and it was quite a serious situation. Can you share a bit about her experience? Yeah, I mean, she, being, you know, a, a, a stout Midwestern stock, thought she had a cold. Uh, I called her up one day when I was living near her in Los Angeles, and I thought she sounded terrible, so I went to see her, and I took one look at her, and I said, you know what, we're getting in the car, we're going to the emergency room. And, of course, they took one look at her and said, you're going into the hospital, where she spent more than a week. And she was very, very sick. Uh, it scared me a lot, um, and it scared her, and, and it took her a long time to recover. So what are the symptoms of pneumococcal pneumonia? Is it confused with cold and flu symptoms? Well, that's right. People can confuse pneumonia with the flu, and in fact, the flu can turn into pneumococcal pneumonia. So you feel sick when you have pneumonia. You have aches and pains and fever. Uh, you almost always have a cough. Frequently, you're raising uh, phlegm, sputum with a cough. Frequently, you have chest pain. You usually feel sick enough to go to see a doctor, and you should. How is the disease spread? You know, all lung infections are spread the same way, whether it's pneumonia or a cold or the flu. The bug rides on little droplets that come out of your nose and mouth when you sneeze or cough. You inhale them, and the bug gets into your nose and mouth. Now, if your immune system, the system that fights infection, is working well, uh, frequently the bug just sits there and doesn't cause a problem. But if your immune system is not working well, then the bug can grow and cause pneumonia. Is the disease easily diagnosed? And is time of the essence once you receive a diagnosis? Well, for my mom, the, the disease was easily diagnosed once she went and got help. Um, but her self-diagnosis was obviously not very good. So um, this, is, again, is why it's important for people to be aware of this and to talk to their health care providers about what they can do to prevent it. Well, Tim's being modest. Actually, he did the most important diagnostic step. He knew his mother was sick and needed help, and that's the first step. Well, I did play a doctor on TV. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> the, the other steps, you know, that you leave that to your doctors. But the point about prevention, of course, is the point of this campaign. Uh, there are ways that we can lessen the chances that people over 50 will get pneumococcal pneumonia, and people should consult their physician to make sure they're up to date on all of their immunizations. So can you tell me, who is at risk? Well, lots of people are susceptible to pneumococcal pneumonia. Anybody who's got a chronic disease, chronic lung disease, chronic heart disease, diabetes, asthma, any smoker is susceptible to pneumococcal pneumonia. In addition, as we age and as our immune systems get less strong, our susceptibility to pneumococcal pneumonia increases. Dr. Edelman, what type of treatment does a patient typically receive? It's a very serious infection. People are usually in the hospital and they get intravenous antibiotics. And what can we do to prevent pneumococcal pneumonia? The ordinary advice about living healthfully is always good. You should eat right, you should exercise, you should get lots of sleep. Uh, you should stay away from people who are obviously sick, not let them cough in your face. But in addition, there is a way to reduce the chances of catching pneumococcal pneumonia through immunization. 
tell us about the Who Knew campaign. Well, the American Lung Association, in partnership with Pfizer, has started the Who Knew campaign in order to educate people about the risk of pneumococcal pneumonia and encourage them to go and see their health care provider, whoever that may be, um, to assess their personal risk and also to make sure that they are up to date on their immunizations and that uh, they know what they can do to keep themselves healthy. Dr. Edelman and Tim, thank you so much for joining us here at LifeScript today. It's our pleasure and in parting I have to mention the American Lung Association's website has all sorts of information about lung health and that's simply lung.org. <laughs>